Hi there. What you're looking at now is a beautiful example of the Western or Angolan green snake, Philothamnus angolensis. Let's see if I can get a closer shot for you. There you can see the tail. This one is about a meter long. Hiding in this bush. I'll see if I can get a better angle for you. That's common in this area, common across Zambia in fact. Uh, the snake is just hiding there in the shade. You can see it a bit closer. These snakes seem to favor bushes and reed beds rather than trees like the tree snake. This particular one seems to be a large male. I'll see if I can get even closer for you. There you can see a nice shot of its head. Now these snakes, interestingly enough, often get mistaken in this country for the green mamba. There are no green mambas in Zambia. You may have a Jamison's mamba or two in very isolated small distribution areas, but not green mambas. This one you may see once it uh, starts responding to the amount of heat. It's very hot today. It will flick out a bright blue tongue with a black tip. They're particularly fast snakes normally. Very difficult to capture because it's difficult to get close to them. Now they are mildly venomous and they're quite aggressive as are many of the mildly venomous snakes. They are rear fanged snake and have a very mild hematoxin. You can see it's quite a striking green. You could almost say emerald, sometimes almost lime green. Very beautiful, very agile snake in the bushes. up into the bush. Here yeah, you can see it. In the sunlight, there's a snake striking at me. When they want to, they have quite a fast strike. This snake can't penetrate the gloves. You see the snake is just on the defensive now because it feels threatened. Can't really do much. Now these snakes in their natural habitat will feed on possibly small birds, frogs, lizards. Is, uh, although this seems to get a, a bad temper quicker than other snakes, or quicker than many other snakes, it's not harmful, bit of a painful bite. beautiful snake. This is actually one of four different green snakes that you are likely to encounter in this country. These ones though, in particular, apart from the 
very grated bush snake and the ornate bush snake. These ones seem to be particularly aggressive or prone to explosive defense moves. There you can see that beautiful blue tongue. Like the tree snakes, they will also inflate their necks when they become agitated. There you can really see the coloring of this snake now. And he's got his neck slightly inflated and you can see the black skin between the scales. And it struck at me. See, at the moment the snake feels as though it's cornered, it just wants to go. It just wants to go. It doesn't want to stay around here. It's not happy being around here because I am a creature that is much larger than the snake. So it's defending itself. Yeah, the snake moves off.